Handicapper Steve here, handicapping the racing from Saratoga Racecourse here on Friday. It's the 14th of July, 2023. Gonna look at all the races on day two of the spa, but before I get on to that, remember to please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Get Five for more selections for racecourses around the world, and I mean it around the world. Remember to go check out today my Grand Prix de Patty preview from Patty from Patty Longchamp, and also check out my Foulmouth preview from Newmarket today, and also tomorrow for my July Cup. But stay tuned from Saratoga. We're gonna look at all the races. It's an exciting card. Let's get to it right now. Starting off with the opener, it's main special weight purse $88,000 race from Maine's Phillies two-year-olds here state breads we have a field of eight horses going 1100 meters or five and one half furlongs on the Saratoga main track my top selection here, I'm going to take the six horse awesome check. I'm going to go 6248 in the Superfecta. 6248 Super. Top selection, the six horse awesome check. This first time um, starter, two for the by Mendelssohn here by an awesome again, damn. Horacio de Paz trains. Manny Franco gets to mount here. Um, you know, this horse, um, the workout patterns haven't been bad at all, and it's been training from the gate the last two workouts, which I quite like right before a debut. Ran um, a workout last week in 40, uh, four furlongs and 48 flat from the gate. The fifth best workout, 49 and a half mile drill the week prior, 48 and four. Thirteenth best workout, 54. That proves me this horse probably could get out of the gate and show some speed, which you need in these races. Um, you know, if you look at the workout pattern, she's been getting better with every single race here. You know, the numbers, you know, with pass are good with the first time starters. I'm going to give this horse a massive shout out ticket at 92. I think his second likeliest winner here is the two horse Concerti for Joe sharp and uh, Luis Saez has been coming in from Keeneland where he had a drill in, um, at four furlongs and 40 and one the from the gate the fourth best workout 101 and a half mile drill week prior in 48 into another two year old Philly by Mendelssohn here I think this horse has some speed is drawn well I'm going to give this horse a shot on the ticket also but to recap my selection for the opener from Saratoga going to take the six horse here awesome check give kudos to the two horse concerti 6248 super 62 in your multi race to the beginning of the early pick for the second race from Saratoga it's main special weight purse, hundred thirty-six thousand dollars. Race for mains three-year-olds and upwards. We have a field of seven horses taking a stroll around the Saratoga main track, which is eighteen hundred meters in circumference or a mile and one eighth on the main track. My top selection, and you know, I'm gonna single this horse in the early pick four. It, it's gonna be the three-horse dreamlike. I'm gonna go three. Um, I'm gonna go three six four two in the superfecta. Three six four two super top selection three-horse dreamlike. Three old by Gunrunner. Tom Fletcher trains. I Radatis Jr. gets the mount. The horse's most recent outing came against winners. Um, he was still a maiden when he ran the Grade 2 Wood Memorial Aqueduct, mile eighth on the 2nd of April, and he ran his heart out that day. He finished third by head from the inside. He sat back early. He had the lead. Hit show and Lord Miles just had the jump on this horse, but he didn't go down without a fight. I thought he ran a good performance. They think highly of this horse. They only bought him for $875,000. Coming here to Saratoga off the bench could be forwardly paced, which is ideal going a mile and eighth. I think he's in a good spot to break his main today i wonder what they do next start if he breaks his main today do they go i, I don't know do they think of something like the um you, you know the, the travers um I, I think the jim dandy um it would be just a, a little bit too quick of a turnaround for this one um but um you know we'll, we'll have to wait and see but um this horse looks like he has um, some serious running shoes on him um maybe pennsylvania derby i don't know uh but um he ran 11th march before that at goldstream mile 16th in main special weight 70,000 and he finished second by three quarters in length that day he was very wide which cost him that day he was wide throughout he just couldn't get the there late. If the race was mile eighth, he would have won, but it, it was a shame of the post draw. Six of six, he could never save ground there. And then the 11th of February, Goldstream, one mile on the main special weight. He finished second by one and a half lengths that day. He sat back early. He got to lead and, and well, didn't get to lead. He got to the top of the lane. Then he was drifting, which probably caused him. But he's training well since the last race. He's drawn well, farly paced track. I'm going to give him a shot. I'm going to single him in the pick four, uh, the early pick four here. But to recount my selection for the second one from Saratoga, I'm going to take the three horse Dream Lake, three, six, four, two in the Superfecta. Third race from the spa, it's an allowance optional claimer, purse $149,500. Race for Phillies, three-year-olds, which never won 18000 on the main claim starter or state bread allowance race, which never won two races here. We have a field of nine horses entered to go the distance of ground at 1,700 meters or a mile and one sixteenth on the Saratoga inner turf course. Portable rails are up at nine feet. I'm going to take the six-horse royalty interest as a top selection. Let's go 6491 in the Superfecta. 6491 Super, top selection, the six-horse royalty interest this 
three-year-old Philip Bella Harvey here. Chad Brown trains. High Rider Tees Jr. gets the mount. The horse's most recent outing came the 2nd of June at Penn National, one mile in the Penn, uh, Penn National Oaks. And the horse finished fifth by nine quarter lengths that day. And he just kind of stalked that day. He never got the good turn of foot off the bench. I do think he needed the race on that very humid night. Coming here. Not the world's toughest race, could be more forwardly paced. He's run fast enough to win here. I'm going to give him another shot to, you know, to find the winner's circle here today. 11th of March was his debut at Tampa. One mile to main special weight, 29,000. And something Chad Brown and even Christoph Kaman, Todd Pletcher are great with. are sending those horses to Tampa to get that maiden victory. Um, Christoph and Chad are even better on turf than Todd. But this horse went by two and a quarter lengths that day. And he basically stalked early on a little bit wide. But he quickened up nicely and went away with it. A very good, strong performance. Since the last run of the horse is training well, coming here in a little quieter spot, I'm going to give this horse shot on the ticket. I think the four horse G. Laurie for Manny Franco and Grand Motions, your second likeliest winner. This three year old Philly by. Um Oscar performance most recently in the Blue Norther at Santa Anita in late uh, September, uh, late December over the mile. The horse finished 11th by 30 and a quarter lengths that day. Something must have went amiss. You didn't see the horse now until July, so, um, you know, just put an X through that race. Prior to that, in the Talma at Woodbine, one mile on the 17th of September, the horse finished third by one three quarter lengths that day and had a very troubled trip that day. He was closing well that day behind Cairo Consort and Last Call. He ran his heart out, uh, you know, with all the elements that day. And then the debut uh, a couple weeks prior, Colonial Mile. 16th and earned her main special weight. The horse went by six lengths that day, and from wide poetry, he sat back early, he quickened up nicely, and he went away with it. Might need the race off the bench, but, you know, the, the buyers are high enough here. I'm going to give this horse a shot on the ticket uh, for the early pick four. Let's go too deep in this one. But to recap my selection for the third from Saratoga, I'm going to take the six horse royalty interest. Give kudos to the four horse G. Laurie, 6491 Super, 64 in your multi race. The fourth event from Saratoga, it is the Wilton Stakes. It's going for $135,000 purse. Race for three year old Phillies, which have never won a sweepstakes other than a Baynum, blah, 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 blah. Field of five horses going the distance of ground of 1,600 meters or the one mile out of the Wilson shoot, the Wilson mile here. My top selection, I'm going to take the five horse randomized. I'm going to go 5-3-4-2 in the Superfecta. 5-3-4-2 Super. Top selection of five horse randomized. This 3 0 Philip by Nyquist here. Chad Proud trains. Howard Tees Jr. gets the mount. The horse's most recent outing came first time winners. First time over a little bit longer track, a trip in the 9th of June at Belmont. Mile 16th in the Grade 1 Acorn. And the horse went a 6 by 11 quarter lengths. Wasn't catching the Kentucky Oaks winner, pretty mischievous that day, who put on a show. This horse was just wide and just never was getting into it. A little lesser quality spot. I don't think the horse needs to lead in this one, but from wide poster, if she stalks, she could really get a good race and win. You know, off the off of the showing of the Wilson shoot last year, the mile race here at Saratoga, you, the, the speed was winning, but I also noticed you wanted to be just a slightly off. The, you know, stalkers did well over the mile here at Saratoga last year, so let's see how it goes again. Um, and I don't know if there was a real, you know, you know, ad advantage of the posters. I think it was pretty fair, um, but still, you know, they they didn't cart a lot of these mile races with really strong fields like. Um, with, with full fields. I think there was only like one or two 10 horse fields um, towards the end of the meet last year, and I can't remember which one's won, but, um, you know, it, it was a lot of smaller fields coming out of the shoot last year. But, um, you know, go back to Randomize. He ran prior to that 31st of March at Aqueduct, one mile in the main special weight, 80,000. The horse went by five and a half lengths that day and basically walked on the front, and he walks home late. That was a very good breaking maiden victory for horses. Horses first start since 24th of July. That came at Saratoga, six furlongs in main special weight. The horse finished third by six and a quarter lengths that day, and he just kind of stalked and needed something more. He's been training quite well at Belmont. Half mile drew last Saturday in the um, in 48 flat, the 30, the best workout of 32, and 48 and three the prior Friday, the seventh best workout 48. I think this horse is rearing to go. I'm going to give this horse a shot. I think the three horse sacred wish for George Weaver and John Velasquez is your second likeliest winner. Most recently in mid June at, at Belmont on the mud, mile 16th and option 50. She finished second by a length that day, and she just couldn't catch Sunset Louise, who had a better race in her. She was just drawing a little bit too wide. This horse looks like she could um, get that good stalking trip that you, you needed in the Wilson Mile last year. Prior to that in the back eyed Susan, you know, she finished ninth by 16 and a half lengths that day, and she just had a tough trip around the far turn, uh, around the clubhouse turn, and I just don't think she was comfortable against those horses there. And the Goldstream Park Oak, she finished second by two lengths behind a Fermin Lady, who really freaked that day. This horse is just wide, but I also think she needed a little bit more ground. They did train her last Friday on the turf at Belmont. That was kind of weird. I have to see where she was nominated for um, a turf race. But coming here today, she could definitely win. 
I think her buyers are up to scratch. Watch out for her at 7 to 2. Um, but to recount my selection for the fourth from Saratoga, it is the Wilson Stakes. Going to take the five horse, randomize. Give kudos to the three horse, Sacred Wish. 5 3 4 2 Super. 5 3 in your multi race. Now, out of the early pick four and the early pick five, I think this is going to be the, the race that you're going to see balloons in. <laughs> but to the, um, the the fifth race from Saratoga, it is a main special weight purse, $88,000. Race for main three-year-olds and upward state breads. Field of ten horses going 1,100 meters or five and a half furlongs on the Millen Turf course. I like the one horse. Holler at your boy as a top selection. I'm going to go one nine ten five in the Superfecta. one nine ten five Super. Let's use all four of them in the pick four to get some coverage here. Because I think any... Four, one of these fours can win. But my top selection is one horse, Collar at your boy. This um, three year old gelling by Jimmy Creed, Kerry Bryan trains, Ricardo Santana Jr. gets the mount. Horses most recent out of game, the 15th of June at Delaware. Soft turf course, five frongs on uh, main special weight, 38,000. And the horse finished fourth by seven quarter lengths that day. And he was with them early on. He got overtaken late, but he didn't go down without a fight. I thought he showed potential. Coming here, you know, he, the speed's good on this turf course, especially with the rails out. I think he can get a good trip from the inside and win. They tried him on dirt prior to that, going six in the main claim, 25,000 at Delaware, where he finished fifth by eight and a quarter lengths that day. And he had a bit of a tough trip that day. I don't know if he liked the dirt either, but, it, you know, he. He still needs something more. And then the debut of Belmont going um, a mile on the wide and we're in a state bread main special weight. He finished seven by seven and a half lengths that day. Was very wide and he just wasn't staying the mile. Cutting back to five and a half. He's training well at Fair Hills um, on the Tapita. I think he has some speed. I'm going to give him a massive shot in this race. I think the nine horse Empire Sky for Kathleen Damasi and Kendra Carmouche could win. Uh, most recently in a state bre- uh, in a main special at Monmouth going five and a half in mid-June. The horse ran a second by one quarter lengths and just missed late. Closing up from nowhere. He ran his heart out coming home with the 66 fire. Prior to that, mid uh, March at Aqueduct, going six in the main special weight, he finished second by head. Again, stupidly wide, but he was gaining that day. Um, he started once here last summer, where he finished third by neck, where he was just stupidly, again, stupid, stupid wide, five, six wide on the mountain turf course in the turf sprint. You don't want to do, but again, he was just missing. He's been close, but no cigar quite a few times. He's training well. I'm going to give him a shot here on the ticket. The the ten horse Sharanzando for Javier Castellano nearly won um, a few weeks ago at Belmont. Going six and um, since coming to the green stuff the buyers have definitely gone up to scratch he is a 17 and 0 maiden here but let's make it uh, 18 um 18 and 1 today i think he could he, he could also get a good trip and win it wouldn't surprise me um and also first time tourist to five horse rusi for um james bond and louis sayez um you know wasn't handling the dirt last time out in aqueduct where he just you know never quickened up he showed some potential showing some speed on the fourth march on the uh, mud at aqueduct and then the debut he just had a very wide trip which cost him but he's been training quite quite well in the turf course here at saratoga i'll give him a shot as your wise guy horse in this race to possibly blow up this uh, early pick four that's going to be my main wager today the early pick four so let's play it um so to recap my selection for the fifth from saratoga we're going to take the one horse holler at your boy let's go one nine 10-5 Super, and we're going to end off the early pick four, one nine ten five. So it's a very affordable ticket, and uh, we have some chalk in some of the races, but this is the race that's going to make us the money here. So uh, let, let's go to the sixth event now from Saratoga. The sixth race from Saratoga now. It's an allowance race, purse $149,500. Race for three-year-olds and upwards, never won to 18000 of the main claim starter or state for allowance race, which never won two races here. We have a field here of 11 horses entered, 9 through 11 are MTO, so 8 will head to the inner turf course, the distance of ground of 1,800 meters, or a mile and the eighth on the inner turf course. My top selection here, I love the 6-horse Spider in the Wind. I'm going to go 6-3-1-7 in the Superfecta. 6-3-1-7 Super, top selection 6-horse Spider in the Wind. As 4 Colt by Creative Cause, Mike Maker trains, Manny Franco gets to mount. The horse's most recent out came the 24th of June at Belmont. A mile and a quarter in a turf course in Lounge Race, 95,000. And the horse finished third by two and a quarter lengths that day. And he just sat back early. A little bit of bumpiness at the top of the lane. He just couldn't keep up late. It wasn't his day to win. They were, you know, crawling on the front end. Almost 50 to the half, 115 and 1 to 3 quarters. You, you can't really close into pace 
places like that. Going to a mile length, maybe slightly faster. Um, usually, other than last year, the center turf course at Saratoga does play a little bit more towards speed. Not as speed favoring as the inner turf course routing at Belmont does. But if this horse could sit closer like he did two back, he could win here today. You know, prior to that, on mile three, it's at Belmont, an inner turf course, lounge race 95,000. He finished fourth by five and a quarter lengths that day. He set the pace. He got caught late. You know, he just couldn't stay the mile three H trip that day. And then about a mile and eighth at Belmont on a softer side of good turf course in Lounge Race 95,000. First off the bench, he finished six by 20 quarter lengths that day. He just really couldn't keep up that day. From why poster, he had to be used a lot that day. You know, just put an extra that run. He he started here at Saratoga on the dirt last year, where he just absolutely had nothing. Keep me in mind, a decent horse won quite easily. This horse just wasn't in the trip that day, but came back to a, a decent third going at Aqueduct, going a mile three eighths on the inner turf course. And came back to nearly win Coco Mile three eighths on the inner turf course at Aqueduct, but I do prefer I do prefer him back to a mile eighth. He should find a strong trip at eight to one. I think he could win. I think the three horse battle in Normandy could win also for Shug McGahey and Tyler Gaffleyon. Most recently, he nearly closed up from nowhere going a mile eighth to win at Pimlico. If he had a better poster other than being twelve of twelve, he probably would have won. But you know what can you do from twelve of twelve there? And then off the bench at, Pim at Keeneland going a mile and eighth in a lounge race, finished second by three quarters in length. Again, he sat back early because he doesn't have a lot of. Uh, uh, pace, but he just missed late. His two races here last summer weren't bad at all. He's training well. I'll give him a shot at all at four to one if there's going to be a bit of a pace meltdown. Um, but to recount my selection for the six from Saratoga, I'm going to take the six horse fighter in the wind. Give kudos to the three horse battle of Normandy. Six three one seven super. Six three in your multi race. They pick four, seventh race from Saratoga. It's a claiming event going for a $42,000 purse. Race for four year olds and upwards here. Uh, going for a claim price, 16000 We have a field of nine, uh, excuse me, 11 horses, including a par of an entry going 1,200 meters or six furlongs on the main track. I'm going to take the two horse bust and shouts as a top selection. 2 3 1 a 7 in the Super Facta for me. 2 3 1 a 7 Super. Top selection, two horse bust and shout. This, um, this, um, two year old, um, Colt here, um, excuse me, the several gelding by um, Bustin Sh uh, Stones here, Bruce Levine trains, Kendra Carmouche gets the mount. The horse's most recent out came 13th of June at the Finger Lake, six furlongs and state bred optional 15 claimer, and the horse went second by two lengths that day, and he didn't get out of the gate so well. He, he was with them early on, but he needed something more. Maybe the horse wants to go seven furlongs, but back here to Saratoga, you know, or coming here to Saratoga the first time, I'm going to give this horse a shot on the ticket. I think he'll see a good pace in front of him to, to get the job done. Two back in the claim, 25,000 on the lawn at Belmont, six furlongs, 14th of May. Off the bench, he finished seven by eight lengths that day, and he was, he, from the wide poster, he got sent, but then he kind of hit the wall late. You know, it wasn't his day to win off the bench. And then five and a half on the melon here last last year in option 45, he finished seven by nine lengths, and again, a little bit of a tough trip down the back stretch. It's two turf races here last summer, just a little bit subpar. I do like him coming back to dirt. He could be a little bit forwardly paced, um, but not on the lead. I think he, he'll get a good tracking trip from this post draw. I'll give him a shot here at three at um, eight. Uh, excuse me, ten to one. The three horse, no more talk for David Jacobson and I Ride Ortiz. Wouldn't surprise me if this horse wins. Stepping down from claiming thirty-two to a claiming sixteen today. That claiming thirty-two who ran on the second of July at Belmont going seven and uh, seven furlongs there. We finished third by four and a half lengths that day. He was stupidly wide. He needs something more late. But he, you know, he, he came home with an okay buyer prior to that on the 3rd of June at Belmont, though, in a claiming 25. He won by three quarters length that day and put on a show, a very good run. He won in claiming 16 at Belmont mid-May before that easy, easy also. He has a, some speed if he wants to use it. it. It wouldn't surprise me if this old man gets the job done here. Uh, only a nine-year-old gelding, so um, watch out for him. And also the part of an entry, the uh, 1A Gandhi dancing for Gustavo Rodriguez and Luis Saez. Of course, love Saratoga. Five for three on the surface. You know, won a claim of 25 here, going 7 last summer. Came back to run the state, but option 45, where he's still probably trying to finish the race. But, um, you know, he, he has races that could definitely win here. He's getting class relief from the last one. He's also getting distance relief from the last run. He, they tried him to go mile 16th, where he just didn't run last time out. But coming here, I'll give him a shot on the ticket. Um, but to recap my selection for the 7 from Saratoga, I'm going to take the 2-horse bust and shout. Give kudos to the 3-horse, no more talk in the 1A, Gandhy Dancing. 2-3, 1-8, 231A in your multi race. The eighth event from Saratoga now. It's a claiming event going for an $80,000 purse race for four year olds and upwards here going for a claim price $50,000.
We have a field of nine horses going 1,200 meters of six furlongs on the main track. I'm going to take the six horse prime factor. I'm going to go 6249 in the super factor. 6249 super, top selection six horse prime factor, five year old horse by Quality Road, Sherry DeVoe trains, Tyler Gaffleone gets to mount. Coming back to the dirt today, also stepping down a lot of class. Most recently, an optional 88 Churchill, five and a half on the lawn, 29th of May. First off the bench, the horse went a six by seven quarter lengths that day and was just kind of wide and never really getting going. It, it wasn't the day to win you know prior to that in the in the uh, winter turfway in december six and a half in the allowance rate seventy five thousand. the horse went six by eight and a half lengths that day didn't get out of the gate you know on time he finished 11 uh, got out of the gate 11 or 12 that day and then he just never really you know got the trip there you know prior to that optional 80 at aqueduct on the turf course uh, going six he finished second by half length closing up from nowhere i thought it was a good effort there coming back from the 92 buyer and then we're in here last summer in a six furlong optional six two where he finished fourth by two and a quarter lengths that day where he just kind of hit the wall late but he, he he ran his heart up and behind sibelius and the second place finisher who were both the one two out of that race were both next start winners but he's going way down the class ladder here today second off the bench he has some speed if he wants to use it i'll give him a shot here at um 12 to 1 on the ticket I think his second likeliest winner is a two-horse um, Dots Dollar for Linda Rice and Jose Ortiz. Most recently, in an optional 6-2 at Belmont going 6 snap on the 8th of July last week, the horse went by a neck that, a neck that day, and it was a little bit wide, but he, he timed the race perfectly. A very good run. Now, the biggest question with this horse, um, with him running last Saturday, does he run on the quick turnaround? Um, Linda Rice does scratch quite a few horses. <laughs> just, uh, you know, and just 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 a tiny bit um, uh, horse that she, she scratches. Um, I'm also being... Um, very, um, you know, kind of uh, ironic here because she scratches a lot of horses. But, um, you know, in the 9th of June was the horse's previous race going 6 and off 6 2, where he finished third by four and three quarter lengths that day. Didn't get out of the gate so well, was a little bit wide that day, but he, he you know, he, he needed something more that day, but came home with a decent buyer. And then an aqueduct in, in late April going 6 and off 6 2, the horse finished second by two and three quarter lengths. Again, not the best beginning, stupidly wide, but he was gaining. We started here last summer at Saratoga and uh, claiming 50, where he won by a neck on the front end. A very, very good run there came back to run a decent race at aqueduct an allowance race uh, and won in claiming 50 in late october at aqueduct quite nicely also has run buyer strong enough the question is will this horse run with a quick turnaround i'll give this horse a shot on the ticket and also the four horse happy farm um you know another nine-year-old gelding here um you know making um his fifth start locally but absolutely loves this track um one here in a claiming 40 last summer quite nicely by two and three quarter lengths with flavia and pratt up going away came back to win a claiming forty thousand on cl uh came back to place in a claim 4,000 closing weekend uh, where he again ran his heart out you know he came back um, you know with some strong buyers as a recently also he could he, I think the old man still can win getting Flavian Pratt who knows the source really well up you know I'll give him a shot on the ticket um, like I said I, it's 50-50 that Dots Dollar runs so um, you know I, I would use the I would go if she runs or um, if he runs, I would go six two four on the pick four. But if he doesn't, six four on the pick four. But to recap my selection for this eighth from Saratoga, I'm gonna take the six horse here, prime factor. Um, six two four nine super, six two four in your multi race. Let's get to the featured ninth race now from the spa, which is the Coronation Cup. It's going for $150,000 purse. Races for um, Phillies three-year-olds here. Field of nine horses entered. Nine is an MTO, so eight will go to the Melon Turf course. 1,100 meters or five and a half furlongs on that Melon Turf course. My top selection, I'm going to go with the two horse, Love Appeals. 2415 in the Super Facta for me. 2415 Super. Top selection, two horse, Love Appeals. 3 0 Philly by Spice Town. Christophe Clement trains. Manny Franco gets to mount. The horse's most recent outing came 27th of April at Aqueduct. Six furlongs and Ops 6 2 claimer. And the horse went by four and three quarter lengths that day. And basically on the front end, this horse took off clear, put on a show. A very easy run. He is stepping up in class again today, but it's not the world's deepest race. And I think, you know, with he's on the logical improve. It's the proper spot for him to get a good trip and win today. They tried him routing, and it's going seven and a half at Goldstream in the Sanibel Island. He finished fourth by two and a quarter lengths that day, and he just kind of hit the wall late that day. I don't think he wants to go seven furlongs. I think, you know, seven a one-turn seven furlong at Belmont he would like to do. But other than Belmont, really in North America, you don't have a lot of places you could do that. So, you know, coming here to five and a half, strong pace in front, I think he could get a good trip and win. The debut at Goldstream in mid-February wasn't bad at all, going seven and a half in the main special way, where he won by a neck that day. And basically from a tracking trip, he got there in the nick of time, a very good run. He's training well at Belmont on the turf and dirt. 
you know, if there's a, if Love Reigns kind of hits the wall late on the front end, I think this horse could pick up the pieces. I'll use her. I think the four horse Love Reigns is her likeliest winner also for Joel Rosario and Wesley Warren. Um, you know, most recent the Limestone Stakes at Keeneland going five and a half. The horse and by half a length, and he didn't have the best beginnings that day uh, and uh, best of trips early on, but really put on a show late, uh, coming home with a 91 bar- buyer. You know, prior to that in the Breeders' Cup Juvenile Turf Sprint, the horse just never really got going. Finished eighth by nine quarter lengths. Very, you know, just just never really comfortable there and then when the Boltons landing here uh, over the summer quite nicely by two and a quarter lengths going away uh, being some good quality horses went on to win some good races this horse has some speed she's training well at Keeneland at seven to five I will use her but I think Love Appeals is a very likely winner in the spot but to recap my selection for the ninth from Saratoga it's to feature Coronation Cup gonna take the two horse Love Appeals give kudos to the four horse Love Reigns two four one five super two four in your multi-race the nightcap, the 10th race now from Saratoga, it is a claiming event, going for a $50,000 purse, race for three-year-olds and upwards here with number one through races other than claiming blah, 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 blah. Claim price, 35000 16 horses are entered. Keep in mind the 13, 14 RAEs, 15, 16 are MTOs, so 12 will head. The distance of ground is 16 or 1,700 meters or a mile and 1 16th on the Inner turf course. Going to take the 11 horse Encourage as a top selection. 11932 for me in the Superfecta. 11932 Super. Top selection 11 horse Encourage. This 4 year old Air Force Blue. Kenneth McPeak trains. Joel, uh, excuse me, Julian Leperu gets the mount. Horses most recent out again 19th of May, Pimlico. Mile 16th in option 40 Claimer. And the horse was 7 by 5.5 lengths that day. From wide post, right? He somewhat left to get good position, but he was still wide throughout refreshing here with a little bit of a longer run to the first turn hopefully getting more into it early on also i'm gonna give him a shot to win also getting serious class relief going back from the lounge company to you know claiming company today prior to that i ran keelan mile nathan lounge race in mid-april he finished fifth by uh, six by two and a quarter lengths that day he had a little bit of tough inside trip that day he, he moved a little bit late but he you know he needed something more that day and then the fall at keelan a mile 16th in the lounge race hundred fifteen thousand. he finished 12th by five and a quarter lengths that day again had a tough trip early on which cost him uh, and then he ran the hawthorne derby where he was just very wide not keeping up that day he won twice um last year once in a main special way to ellis in mid august off the bench where he won by head closing up from a wide trip and came back to win uh go at kentucky downs over the mile 5 16th where he basically won it on the front end um he's training well at 520 he could definitely win here i also think the nine horse splendid summer for rudy rodriguez and joel rosario could win uh, excuse me or uh, excuse me jose lascano could win also most recently in uh claiming thirty five thousand at belmont on the 22nd of june he finished fourth by two and a quarter lengths that day which is a little bit wide and needed something more he won easily in a claim 30 in mid-may at belmont going mile 16th on the inner you know the inner is speed favoring at belmont and especially routing and this horse took good advantage of it 45 cents of the dollar he took off clear very good run with some class relief and then an aqueduct in a claiming 30 uh on the 22nd of april he finished second by two and a quarter lengths he stalked that day but was really gaining that day his race here last summer on the melon and claiming 35 wasn't bad at all where he closed up from nowhere but in this spot today i would like to see him more into it early on if he's more into it he could definitely win an eight to one let's use the end off the pick four but to recount my selection for the 10th from saratoga gonna take the 11 horse encourage give kudos to the nine horse splendid summer 11 9 3 2 super 11 9 in your multi-race Good luck to all. Remember to follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kid 5 for more selections for race courses around the world. Good luck, everybody.